design mode is the heart of Atmosphere, where you can make your own video game adventures and then share them online to challenge the rest of the world. In the following design video tutorials, we'll show you how to use the basic tools and give you a few shortcuts and tips for faster building. Let's enter design mode by clicking on Design on the main menu. This loads up a new blank grid for us to work with. The top blue bar is called the File Browser, and it's filled with the usual boring file selection stuff like save, copy and paste, and help. We'll get to some of that a little later. The white left column is the Media Library, and this is where all your blocks are stored. So think of it as a bucket filled with everything you need to make a level. The white bar on the upper right is called the Design Toolbar, and these are quick button tools that help make your design process go a little smoother. Let's get into a few basic features of the design interface. Everything you build within Atmosphere is divided into themes and categories. These are organized into two drop-down menus at the top of the Design Mode Media Library. Let's look at themes first. We can click the drop-down menu and select one of several theme packs, which will include a collection of blocks relating to that one theme. For now, we're going to select the Sandcastle theme, and you can see that our blocks below immediately update to reflect this change. Beneath Themes is the Category menu, where we can select the type of blocks we want to begin building with. We'll go into detail about each of these categories later, but for now, let's select Basic Props. Again, our change is immediately reflected in the blocks below, and now we can start building a sandcastle. You can switch between themes and categories at any time, exploring all the different building materials at your disposal. In the future, Atmosphere will have even more theme packs and categories added into these menus, so be on the lookout for new content showing up in here.